not shit get hot, you better check it in. World Star Hip Hop with one of the coldest motherfuckers ever hit the East Coast. Still young doing this shit. A real rebel in his cause. Just like them, re them running rebels back in the days. Oh, you know about them? Okay, yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Them niggas doing LV <clears throat> niggas was hard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Them niggas was hard. Them, I used to, that's, that's, that's who was my squad. That's the elders. Yeah. Shout out to the elders. Them niggas was ball players. You say you're an athlete, though. Yeah, I used to hoop. You feel me? I still could hoop. You feel me? What I used mean? to play football. I played basketball. I used to play football. Like I used to play live at Broncos and Queens Little League. I played for, I played like one year, but then I wasn't really that lit. I wasn't really that good in football. So one time I practiced, I got hit real hard by this young kid. And then I started dunking that shit. Nigga, what? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm like, nah, I ain't doing this no more. Wait a minute, you just you just was talking about football. Then you say you dunked it. Nah, nah. I saw I was playing football, uh -huh. and then I went to practice one time and got hit by this, this young kid. Oh, then man. after that, I started ducking playing football. I started oh, okay, ducking going. Okay, yeah. yeah. But you say you, you you can shoot. Like play basketball? Yeah. Um, I ain't really have a good jump shot, but I, for me, I, I was nice. I was nice though. Good handle, good passing, good assist. My shot was something I used to I had to work on, but I was I still could knock some shots down in the game. Oh, though, wow. don't think I was just a scrub. I'm far I'm from a scrub. I'm finna call you out. Like I, I could tell you got no game. I don't got no game. Yeah, like your posture. Nigga, is you crazy? I uh, can shoot. I can out shoot you right hand or left hand. Ah, uh, they always say that. Uh, what hand you want? <laughs> hand, hey, hey, listen, we in New York. You know it's a goddamn court somewhere. It's a car around the corner. Well, that's fourth off the block. You know what I'm saying? You want to go to Rucker? You want to go to Legendary a Park? i to a young C. I guarantee you I'll get this. I'm going to cook this youngster. I'm too fast. I'm going to cook this nigga. I'm okay. fast. You might think I'm not. And I, I can score both hands. And I got good handle on God. I'm really, I'm really good. You know these young niggas ain't good at number spitting. <clears throat> these niggas ain't good at number entertaining, rapping, and fighting. Mm -hmm. Look, let me just tell you something, real talk. I gotta fight too. These niggas from the, these young rappers can't do nothing that requires finesse. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas what the hell? They can fight. That's it. It ain't nothing else. It's a lost cause. They can't do nothing. They can do number violence. If it ain't got no violence attached to it. These niggas can't do it. Nah, I'm gonna say that's not true. Because you, look, I just left jail, right? And and the right. CO's there, like it's violence, but sometimes before you get into violence, you gotta know how to speak. You gotta know how to interact before you even get to violence. If you in a cell, if you wanna if you want a dorm in a house with fifty different people, and it's fifty different people waking up with different personalities, you gotta know how to interact with all their personalities. You gotta know how to pop around them. Sometimes you don't want to get in trouble. You chilling. I just had to fight. I just came out the hole. I just went to the right. bar. Whatever you're doing, like some niggas ain't really want all oh, action all the time. Some nigga gets to a spot where he finally get to let his feet up. It's a cooking spot where he got a fridge here, a stove. Niggas on chill mode. You feel me? So you gotta know how to just talk sometimes. How, as it comes to a question, it brings me to a question. How old were you when you fell? When I fell? Yeah. You caught that kid. I caught the kid. Uh, uh, I was 23. I was, I was 20. Yeah, I was 23. I just turned 23, November 24th, and I got locked up December 17th. Damn. Yeah. Man. You caught that case right when it was going. Hi, I had just dropped computers. That shit was just starting to like take off a little bit. Like it was just starting to take off crazy in New York, Miami, certain places. But then I got locked up. Uh, How long was you out till before that, that, that? Um, like before the like when the bars was going? Yeah. Um, so we started like the bar, we started rapping like in April, the bars started getting there like in June. We signed like July. And then November, no, December we was rap. Uh, the summer we was out here. Yeah, 18 months. Really, that's like 18 months, right? Nah, I don't know. That's like eight months. Eight from months. April, yeah, from April we started rapping, it was like a buzz. Then June, it was like a big buzz. Then July, we signed to Dale. Then in December, we got locked up. So, like, from around, like, yeah, like, yeah, around, like, I could say, like, six more, like, it was like a, 
Like a like eight months, yeah. Like it was all like a whole eight everything. Nah, How long was the investigation? I uh, said it was on to us from like twenty thirteen. But oh no, nah, I ain't seen nobody on to me. That's crazy, cuz. I mean, it's it, it's stupid because you getting a check while you in jail and you fighting this shit. I know how I feel to go to jail with money. Mm-hmm. I know how I feel to go to jail and you got you know, it's different than going to jail when you ain't got shit. And uh-huh. then you thinking like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm answering the question like, I need to ask you, what was you thinking the lawyers was going to be able to do? And did you think you had a chance? Shit, bro, I, um, <clears throat> I had one lawyer through my whole case for me, my boy, um, Javier Salon. So, my, my, I'm thinking like, all right, when we first, this, the first time we saw the judge, like the arraignment, like, like the next day type shit, they gave us $2 million bill. I'm thinking, epic, everybody going to get us out. I'm thinking we're going to get billed out. So I'm not even stressed enough, really. Like, I'm also like, all right, about to get billed out. Fuck, like. Yeah. But as time go on, like, we ain't getting billed out. So I'm like, all right, what's going on for me? So, boom, um, my lawyer on some shit like, yo, listen, they offer you five years right now. Ah, uh, boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, five years for what? You feel me? They're like, what's my charges? Like, they still haven't told me my charges yet. Like, I didn't really go to the precinct and all. Like, they still haven't told me my charges yet. So my lawyer, like, all right, your charges. Like, before I went to see a judge, they told me my charges, though. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, what's my charges for me? Like, or like I know it's a gang conspiracy, but like, what's my separate charges for them to try to give me five years? Mm-hmm. Me, or I'm just getting five years for this gang conspiracy. <laughs> so now he like, yeah, your separate charges is... Da 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 da. I don't want to put it out there. If, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. But I'm like, what? Like, how? If I, if they have me for this, like, I know they the bank came and snatch me. What? Like, this is guaranteed. I'm out of here. Like, right. So like, what you mean? Like, like nah, they wanted to rap y'all in one shit. So I'm like, well, I'm like, all right. So now, my my mind, my lawyer, like, yo, listen, we can fight this. I think I could beat every charge. But I'm going to keep it real, child. It's hard to beat these conspiracy charges because what I'm going to say, y'all not friends. Like, they see y'all in pictures. I'm on a couple phone conversations. Even though it ain't too crazy, I'm still name brought up. That mm-hmm. shows, like, I'm with y'all, like, you feel me? So, and if I go to trial for that and lose, that's an automatic 8 to 25, the max. So I'm like, damn, like, they railroaded in a nigga, like, for me. So now nah, I'm also, like, all right, let me see how everybody else's case is going, how all my other bros' case is going, what their lawyers saying, let's see if we can chop it down like that. So now it's like a, I'm with my lawyer on some like, you asked me what I was thinking with my lawyers, and I'm, right now I'm on some like, all right, nigga, we got a table right now, we got to put together a play. Yeah. Because these niggas trying to come and take our life away. So Are you the oldest one? Like, out of all my niggas, yeah. like, close, like, you got my boy Mitch, he probably like a year older than me. I think me, she older than me. How many of y'all was it? And JJ older than me, huh? How many of y'all was it? Like 22 of us, 23. It was 22? Uh, yeah, like 23 of my niggas. I'm all my brothers. The most, who got the most son? Rasha. How much he get? Free Rasha, they get my boy 98 years. But he about to come home, because all that shit bullshit. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. you feel me? Put all that time on him. All them gang shit, yeah, like, I just, like, just wanted to like make Charlie like put an example on niggas and mm-hmm. give him all this extra time for what? Like you for me? Like, right, right, right. Y'all say yeah, that guy yeah. for what he did it, so like why is y'all giving him like you feel what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, the lawyer's gonna fix that. Cause I know you I know um the little, um, the little homie Cuz took a deal and he had is that is that true how they say he took more time? Oh yeah, I so like I, I should like it was weird. It was it was just it was just it was weird because like we just seen like how the people wanted to like fuck us over like cause mm-hmm. like I right, born like at the time they was offering Bobby like five years and then they was offering me twelve years. It was offering Monta like ten years. It was offering my other Cody Quinn on like eighteen years. You mm-hmm. feel me? So they had everybody split up. Like, like all through groups or the date man you feel me all going to trial different ways you feel right. me so like why I spend the side that was funny from there so boy when the time came down to it 
it was just like they seen Bobby was going to walk away with just five years, and we already had two years in. So, like, he'll do two more and be home. So I felt like they just needed, like, a reason to get more time out of him. So, like, they was all in the huddle, like, just talking. And then I don't know, but they're like, listen, we'll give Marshall seven years um, if um, Bobby would take seven years instead of five. And they will give Monte, uh, they give Monte seven years, and Quinn was at the 18, give him 12. No, give him 15. Instead of Monte seven, give Monte, instead of Monte 10, give him seven. Instead of Monte 12, give me seven. Instead of Bobby five, give him seven. So I'm like, what? My lawyer looked at us on some like, his lawyer looking at us. Like, I'm looking like, like what y'all want to say? Like what's going on right here? Like, for me. It must have registered in Bobby mind so fast, like, oh, now that's a sweet deal. And he's like, yo, I'm going to take it. So one of my mother, it was like a movie in the courtroom. Like, cause, like, it kicked all everybody out that day, all family, everybody out. Because like, he's like, I, he like, yo, come here. I'm going to take it. Come. He's like, so he's calling his lawyer. So like, I swear to you not, like, when well, he's like, I'm going to take it. Because we all, like, in the day is looking at the lawyer. When he said that, it's like, as I'm swinging my head this way, I'm watching everybody's eyes swing this way in that direction. So I look at boy this way. And like his mind so focused, he like yeah, he like I'm like what? So like everybody like fake like we all like mad like we, like our our old goal was like to get bro home fast so he could like heat up, get back to the music streets, and then he make sure he put on for us. You feel me? Right. Like, like this was our goal right. That's the only thing we got left right now. So so when he did that. It was like shocking to all of us. Like all right, that was a part of plan type shit. You feel me? But what are we gonna say? We just kept our mouth closed. You know? We hollered at the lawyer. They did what they did. We wanted to sign the papers. And we just went back to the fucking. We went back to the cell. We had some weed. We smoked. Went back to the dorm, to a jail. All right, we was in our cell. CLs came and got us. Took us up boys to the gym. Play our minds. She brought our Cody's down. All right, did some gangster shit for us. Nah, um, man, that's so that's so epic because it's 22 motherfuckers and all 22 stayed down. All 22 kept the code. Yeah, but it's not like 22 niggas we don't know. Like, it's 22 our niggas from Sandbox. Like, it's 22 yeah, but niggas. it don't matter because it's a lot of niggas. Yeah. It's, 20, it's, it gets, it's three niggas from the Sandbox and two go crazy and yeah. one is gone. Yeah. So, but, but, what, but what I'm saying is on this show, we want to highlight the fact that it can be done. Yeah. It's 22 motherfuckers, bro. We ain't gonna let that go by though. Uh, yeah. It's twenty two motherfuckers. You feel and, me? And not to cut you off, parts of big bro. It was three females too. No, there was there was three females. I there was three females and one I did some funny shit thought she was telling, and did some funny shit and put her name out there that she was telling, cause I thought they they kept like I said they kept like dissing us from the courtroom. Mm-hmm. So I ain't know what was going on. I just know that she was able to go like right. out of everybody. So I'm like, as a young nigga, so I started waiting for the black and white. I just, ah, you know, for me? But as I, as I grew up, I, as I manned up, I apologize. And if she's seen this one right here, like an extra. Yeah. Because, like, ah, that's like. It happens all the time. Three point, people, she like that on person. Then that's L, that's cold. Yeah, yeah. Shouts out to her. Shouts but, out to love. Like, the scariest I ever been was an interrogation room. It's the scariest shit ever, bro. Right. I don't care what no gangs the toughest nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Cause I am I'm, I'm a fearless child. I say that to say I done been through so much in life. It's like I'm I don't t- I like little shit don't bother me. But I still don't take shit for granted. You know what I'm saying? But I'm an honest nigga. Like nigga I, like I tell you my guns my bad. Like if I was I was a little shook up, I was a little shook up. What are you gonna take from me? And <laughs> hey, what you nigga do? Shit, nigga, you bro, shit, that, that shit, bro, that shit, that shit, that shit. Nigga, but it's like, what? Nigga, what you gonna do to me? Nigga, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm keeping my mouth closed. You gonna beat me up in here? Right. You be able my heart racing like a motherfucker. Yeah, that bitch beating. Do, 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 do. Well, let me ask you, do you this. Do whatever. It's like, well, listen, boy. So y'all left. Papa Love is not jacking me. I'm not jacking myself. I ain't gonna be to sleep. And my mom I'm always gonna know, like, I'm a fuck nigga. <laughs> I, got, I got one for you, though. Now, I bring you now, right now. Y'all niggas 22. Y'all do. Y'all do. The littlest amount of time, because everybody stay silent. The homie finna come home, like you said. Keep it on the real. The experience for nigga being in jail and known 
You know what I mean? Because when I went to the pen, my name had preceded me. Mm-hmm. But a lot of niggas had forgot who I was. A lot of niggas was like, okay, he got money. He on his way to the pen. So when I hit my first yard, niggas was thinking like, you know, it's different organizations in mm-hmm. in, 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 the, in, the, in the California prisons, mm-hmm. CCOs, Blue Notes, and different vanguards and all that shit. So niggas like, who you gonna help out? And I'm like, nigga, it's two things. Nigga, the Rolando, my family, <laughs> and the hood, nigga, like, who am I? Nigga, what you mean? Because <laughs> niggas are really like, niggas like pass over and niggas don't realize like when I feel, I really was in heaven. Because now you ain't got no guns. Yeah. Now you got to deal with this nigga. I'm 6'2", mm-hmm. 23 years old. Yeah. Nigga. Two side right there. Two side. Nigga, I'm going to do something to fight. Two side right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm 5'11", five, five, two side yeah, right there. Two side there. Five, man, six niggas. I swear to God, yeah, my show for me. This nigga here is big as a motherfucker. Man, my shit, hello. This episode is brought to you by Pepsi. I remember going to an HBCU football game. It was one of the most memorable experiences of my life. Watching the HBCU team and band brings so much excitement to the stadium. Completely packed with fans, it's a a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The best part about it is that Pepsi is a proud supporter of HBCU students on and off the field. Pepsi and HBCUs. That's what I like. Different prison of state, different hubs for me. And one hub, you'll have four jails. Another hub, you'll have four more jails. Another hub, you'll have three jails. Another hub, you have five jails. For me, so, and then it's medium, it's maximum, and for me, and then it's just minimum, but you barely get to the minimum jails. Like, those are probably like little 300 spots, three, spot with 300, but. The minimum, the, the the maximum jails is like maximum security is like the life first. Mm-hmm. Niggas mm-hmm. with ten and better, you feel me? The nigga, uh, the medium jails is nigga with like seven and better. No, like the the, the maximum is like eight and better now, eight years and better. Mm-hmm. The mediums is like seven, you feel me? Lower, you feel me? So it's different. It's different shit with me and Bobby got locked up. We got a lot of using the tunes before fighting our case. They put us in PC off the rip. Like, all right, look, we PC out. The world's talking about y'all. Right, yeah, child. they do that. We high the profile. They in LA with them, too. So, off the rip, they PC us. So, when I get the PC, it's like, they like, eh, hey, I think it's PC, it's quiet. No, you still got the weirdest people in life. In that moment. And this motherfucker. Because they didn't fuck you up inside got, this year. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, and it's like, it's like, yeah, go to PC, go to PC. You don't want to go there. No. You get there, it's 30 niggas in there. That's, like, it get, it's like, it's like, all right, it's probably like 30 people in the whole dorm. 10 probably in there for a child molester. Another in there probably for rape. Some of them in there is transgenders, and they in there for probably doing some foul shit, whatever that they're doing. You for me? And then you got like, probably like, Four homies that was blood, but they dubs now. They they kicked out their set, so they got a PC to live. And then you got like three Crips niggas in there because they scared to live around all the blood niggas. And then you probably got just a couple other weirdo niggas in there. You mm-hmm. feel me? And then they just place you in there. Oh my gosh, yo, bro. I'm like, so now we in there, we chilling. So now we there for like a month. We get to our first incident. For me, with one of the homeboys at that, one of the home lokes. Like I'm like, the nigga, he one of the lokes. I was like, I, he trying to be tough in the spot and let you know like he got the situation. And we on some shit like I, we don't even care about nothing. I like do your thing. You feel me? Like, but we on the phone and shit. Boy, want to smoke tobacco? Bobby got tobacco. Boy, like yo, let me smoke, let me smoke. So Bobby like, I right, let me get your phone call for it. He like, I right, better trade your phone call for it. So boom, Bobby gave him a stick of back on. He gets on a phone call with his phone call. Boom. Boy like, yo, listen, I'm gonna give you my 15 minute phone call too. Let me get two more. So Bobby like, I right, bet when I got you, when I got the phone. For me, he like, I right, bet. So boy come back now, like, yo, let me get that. Bobby like, I right, I got you. I'm still on the phone. For me, he like, Bobby like, matter of fact, come pull up. I'm about to get the phone. Let me get that 15 minutes. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna tell Bobby, Bobby go to my side and go grab it for you. So boom, he gets on the phone. He boy give him the 15 minute call, he gets on the phone. And he's supposed to tell me to go grab the back of boy while he's on the phone still, but he never tells me. He forget. He forgets being on the phone. So boy comes to the shit like, yo, boy, where the shit at? He like, yo, hold on, man. You still on the phone, man. He like, I thought you should go tell Rod. He like, bro, hold on, you feel me? 
So we're like, you keep telling me, hold on, like, like what the shit I like? So Bobby put the phone on, like, bro, I said, hold the fuck on, man. Like, I, I said, like, bro, you ain't got to talk to me like that, play my sound. Well, he said that, I'm on higher alert, like, what? Like, I spins off already to boy sound. Yeah, yeah, you already if, in. Yeah, I'm already in, boy. Sound when you pull up, boy, he puts it to the side. I left him. Bing, boom. Me and Bobby on him, like, boy, African, he's strong. He on us. <laughs> 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 like, he is not lying up. Like, you know, this is not his first rodeo. Like, he's yeah. been through it, ripping. Like, like and like and he was telling us too, like, yo, I'm not a PC just because like I signed in, like, cause I got a little scratch off the day. Like, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm in a feeling. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, we heard it all before, but like. Yeah, he was trying to perform with us, but we was performing still. That's good. Man. That nigga said he ain't in PC because he PC. All right, but then it's like, all right, boom. We had another little riot in PC. Then we got kicked out of that shit. And then it's like, after that, it's like, all right, niggas want to be on some bullshit. It's just sent it to the wolves. I got the GP, and I'm like, all right, it's lit. I get to the GP. I get to the homeboy crib. I'm like, yeah, with all the rips. You feel me? One of my co D. I'm like, I'm in there chilling. They wind up getting some shit too, cause they wind up letting the gate open. They wind up letting me and my homeboy out at the same time as one of the three bulls. You feel me? And like, I fuck with some three bulls, but it's like, we in jail, we ball. We just be, oh, you that gang, I'm that gang. All right, I might light it on you right now. You feel me? So, like, <coughs> that's what happened. Like, you feel me? The three bull walked in, my son 38. That's why what's crazy is. Like he like he did all that. We wasn't cool at the time, but then we wanted to be in the same crib in the next jail, and we was cool. You feel me? Pull that shit to the side, but the nigga walked in. It was just it's both me and the cars right here. We just we we put the um, food back in the pantry. He came from court. They opened the door. Was supposed to wait. They were supposed to lock me and bro in the pantry, then let him in and then go to his um, crib. They opened the door while me and boy still on the floor. And then closes in the pantry. So he walks in with his lawyer shit. Like, walks in. The car is just like, also, like, look at him shit. Like, if you let him walk by, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, we could do him dirty, but, like, for what? Like, you feel me? Like, we on a gate, talking to these niggas all day. We buy drugs for them. They buy drugs for us. We boy, We popping shit. We popping shit. But, like, nah, son got on some gangster shit. Boy, he walking by. He drops the envelope. Poof. Clanks, clanks on my boy. Boom, come here. We going. Poof. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, boy, ecstatic-y. Like, oh. Nah, he just lit it on my son, like, out of nowhere. Right. My son started laying on him. I comes around the bucket, starts getting away, boy. So I see they start passing son, son through the gate. I just hit him with one of the flying kicks. So, all right, you got to get kicked. Man. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't know what you got in your hand. So I'm not even coming so close. I just start, I just ran mad fast, jumped, just kicked him. Like, bing, like, that's, that was over with me. Boy fell back. Everything, like, the seal was broken up and shit. But I'm like, I, like I always gave boy. Like, every time like, after that was my, like we was in the cell, the next spot, like I always tell him like, now nah, boy, you static, you boy. Like he stay down. Like he like he always laughing. He always got his gun in his mouth. He always like, for me, that's my son. I thought, it's yeah. crazy how y'all do that. Uh, the, 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 the mouth with the thing. Yeah, that shit crazy, bro. I, I mean, that shit don't work well in the, in, in, at home because niggas might cut this shit out. <laughs> Nah, it's not, it's not, like you gotta know how to do that shit. We yeah, don't gotta do that shit. You gotta pen top it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta dress it up. Yeah, I mean, they, I, I'm like, nah, shit. You gotta dress that bitch up. I'm like, this, put that so up. I'm just was blessed with the hammers. Nah, one time my mother asked niggas about me. I never really like carrying that shit. Bro. Yeah, I, I always want somebody. I will fight you with that shit. Yeah, that's me. Because I'm more better. Like for me, I'm not yeah. good. Just ah, uh, ah. Uh, Huh, huh. Yeah. I'm more like, all right, let me get here, let me get in here, move you this way. Like, yeah. You know, more like a knee to you, probably. Yeah. Come up with an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> well, it's more so, like kick to the knee. Man, so right. that, 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 that six years, though, that six years in the tank, bro, like. That six years helped me. It's helped you, huh? Yeah, cause it could jail time can help you or break you, make you, make it, it can do whatever. It's time is whatever you make it. So where it put you at as far as the business, like coming out, cause you knew, <coughs> you knew, and I'm just saying this. <coughs> you you came home with expectations that other people don't come home with. Like a lot of these got to come home and be like, damn, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. How am I gonna get on? Yeah, y'all came home. And, and and you already knew. Did you get out the same day or you got out a week after Bobby? No, nah, I got out before Bobby. 
You got up before Bob. Yeah, I got up. He was supposed to come home, like, directly, like, I think a couple of days after me. <clears throat> but they did some funny shit and pushed my boy back all the way to February. I think it was February he came home, right? Like, yeah, like, February. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> wow. So when you came home, you came home and what was the plan? Like, like how did you prepare for it? Because with me, bro, I just studied everything. I studied, read. I wanted to know about the music industry, film. I read all the books I can get in it. I read anything I can get on the music industry. I was just tapped in with my, my PR slash manager slash head chief for the operation slash sister, sister, everything, slash my Mr. Go, Mr. Do It All. Man, she is daddy for me, one to not fuck with. For me, but I was just tuning with Dom, and she just had, like, everything I asked for, everything I wanted to know, everything I didn't know, she was putting me on with, and then it was like, all right, when we get this bread, how are we going to make this turn to this? Right, right. For me, and then that's it. It was just What kind of paper they put y'all on? What you mean? Like, what was your restrictions? Oh, like, my parole restrictions, like, so, like, regular, like, how everybody else shit is probably, like, oh, do curfew. Shit. Mm, like, not really, not a house of residence, that wild shit, no. Just curfew, just, um, for me, don't, like, no police contact, oh, for me, yeah. What they say about the gang shit? Like, they know we on business time now, so they don't really be bringing no gang shit up to me. And plus, I present myself as a grown ass man now. Like, I am a grown ass man. Like, for me, like, like I understand life now. Like, for me, I respect right, right. life more you now. You got babies? I don't got no kids, but. Oh, that's going to change you. When I get kids? Ooh, that's going to be a more serious thing to, to hold that first one. Yeah. Bro, that's going to be a serious situation. I already you know. It, everything in your mind will be like, ooh. I'm responsible for this one. Like, you know what I'm saying? That so it was getting me nervous. Yeah, it was getting me nervous. I'm that I. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, because it's something that, it's something that going to really hit you. So wow. you got to be very, very selective on who that one going to be. Where your name come from? The Block. I was drinking. Can you give yourself the name or just somebody else? Break nah, the name. You then. can't never give yourself your name. I used to do that back in the days. Like, I like, used to like tag. Like, mm-hmm. I used to call myself like too nicer. I was always too nice to the niggas and shit. I was always nice to niggas and ball rapping, fighting, but I was always nice to everybody. It was like, and then everybody was like, you That's too nice. You yeah. yeah, everybody always was like, you think you too nice? You think you too like, uh, I feel like I'm too nice. I don't know for me. I used to tag it, but then it's like niggas used to be like, oh, it's some other nigga tagged too nice, he been here before you. Then you know, like when somebody say, so, say like, oh, somebody this or somebody name, and you start seeing it, mm-hmm. and I start seeing it, I'm like, damn, everybody wasn't too nice or too nice before me. So I stopped doing that shit. It's like, I don't want to feel like I was tracking somebody's shit. But then it's like, after that, the, everybody started naming me. Like, I went, every, every hood I went to, like, I had a name. So I was in the 50s, used to call me Chubbs. I was Chubby. For me, mm-hmm. <laughs> I went to the Brownsville. <clears throat> I went to Brownsville for me, and I was in Brownsville. It was just calling me by my regular real name, Chad. For me, then when I went to the '90s, um, certain niggas used to call me Chad Nix. So my pops used to like have the nickel bags of weed, used to sell it for three dollars. So they were like, "Yo, Chad Nix, what the niggas said, Yo, look for me, ah." Then I started rapping. When I started rapping. Like, it was already a rap group in my hood called the Rattle Rebels, you for me? So when I started rapping, it was like, oh, it's a little young rapper, it's a little low rapper, you for me? Rapping, and then it was like, my son Kyle, Sean, everybody was rapping, they was calling them the Young Young Rebels, but they still had their own name, Triple Threat, uh uh-uh. uh. So mm-hmm. at that time, I'm like, all right, the little young rebel, I'm like, all right, so I'm Rebel Nicks, you for me? That was my rap name, Rebel Nicks, Rebel Nicks. I got older, I started getting to shit. You feel me? Fights, drinking, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The niggas is always like, yo, you mad, Rowdy? Yo, you want know, some Rowdy shit? You want know, some, you know, some Rebel Rowdy shit? You want know, some Rebel to Rowdy shit? Like, and then niggas just started flipping it. And then it really got stamped when I just like kept hearing niggas saying it. And then I put it in the track one time, like, uh, ride it, baby. 
And then a hundred OD started like, yeah, Rowdy Rebel, like Rowdy Rebel. Some call me Rebel, some call me Rowdy. Then it took off. All right. There it is. Y'all got how the name came about. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's legendary. Uh, the bed. That's kind of like how you took how I got big you. I got that shit. Sure. Cause my we, it was a big air going on with with niggas, busting on cops at the mm. time. Mm-hmm. We was young niggas though. We weren't involved in that. We was young niggas, mm-hmm. and everybody wrote their names. And and um, mm-hmm. we was all still going over who a name was gonna be called. And my homeboy wrote my whole name on the motherfucking wall. No. Cause, cause we had well, it wasn't because <laughs> nah, it was wild. Cause it wasn't back then. We had a homeboy named Big Gene, like like uh, Killer Gene. His name was Killer Gene. Mm-hmm. So mine was Eugene. He wrote Killer Eugene, and I hold on. I wouldn't like nigga, cause it was like I was like police killer such and such. Then niggas are striking niggas name. I looked through. I'm like hold on, man. Took that shit out. Put that shit cause my my pops name. Was, was was Preacher, or oh, he had two names, Preacher and Moon. You know what I'm saying? And my pops was like a, a real street nigga in, in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Like hustling and grinding. That's the first time you and nigga ever seen niggas in a hair and, and cocaine in Chicago with my pops. But now I'm in LA though, we young. I blocked that shit out, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo. So really it's still, Big U is Big Eugene, it's the same thing. But you scratched out Gene, so only saw Big U. The only thing they saw was you, and they saw Big U. ran with that. And then, next thing I know, it just was all over the town. Then the homie started calling from YA, like, who was Big U and Slim? Who was Big D? Because like, when the hood took off, we take off in like, um, 80, 80, 79, when, when we like, 13, and they got real, real fast. Cause when the army get killed, when Tyrone kills 79, it go, it splits the Crips and the blood, it splits the Crips and the Crips mm-hmm. in LA in 79. So when, the, when it, we went from, if you was a gangster, you was trades. If you was a hustler, you was, you know, odd, even numbers. So it was like anybody from 6 dude, 6 East Coast, you was really, we was all together. Mm-hmm. And we didn't use gangsters. And then anybody who was a trade, Hoover and all that, they was gangsters, trades. And so, and then we kind of made a lot of niggas just go that way. Because when, when, when the 9 O's and the 6 O's and kind of moved on, it was all kind of niggas that was still saying, like, gangster this, gangster that, gangster that. And then and after 79, it took a turn. You couldn't say gangster and be a hustler. Mm-hmm. You had to be a hustler, and it had to go down that road. So that kind of like spun in 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 the change in the dynamics of how the hoods went. So when that started happening at the seminar at the same time, that's when the name started growing. Mm-hmm. Like we started really like the '60s became a focal point of a major crib beast. So niggas was all over LA like y'all y'all beefing with the gangsters. I mean I was in Compton one time and some niggas act like it's y'all bloods. Like nah nigga we ain't no bloods nigga. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas like <laughs> niggas was like hearing Fuck like y'all, y'all beefing with 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 some grips right? Like so in our era which was different, we grew up beefing with everybody. Like we grew up in the '60s, the nine '00s and all that, and it was like, we was like, fuck everybody, nigga. Like, we didn't give a fuck where y'all was from. Like, nigga, it didn't matter. So that's how the name took off, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, how you feel with the culture? Because I know, I know how I feel about, I know, I think everybody know how I feel about being able to go other places. But how did you feel you was received when y'all music started moving in L.A.? Mm, I ain't going to lie. Like, when I was home, I was locked up. When you was home, home before you got locked up, and, and how you feel? You know um, saying? before I got locked up, um, how nigga was everywhere in the world. Like computers was just getting, so it was still like, <coughs> <coughs> it was still like overwhelming at the time for us. It was still like joyful. It was still like unbelievable, bro. Like yeah. for because like we, I, I, I went from the BET Awards back to the band though. Like, 
doing squad is like living. Like, like I went from Jimmy Fallon all the way and fucking you know, Jimmy Kimmel all the way and fucking um, LA. I came back. It's a whole yellow taper from my crib. Somebody just got down. <laughs> For me, I'm like, damn, like, everything pieces and cream when we leave here. For me. But when we gotta come back, it's like, for me, like, what? Yeah, it's crazy. So it's like, I, right, I'm moving backwards now. Like, I right, give me this brass, start tucking this, stashing this. I'm right, gonna use some of it for get a body and out here for me. And just keep saving and just be put on, but like, drop this album, cook up it for me, and really get to it. I ain't get that chance to. Feel me? Because they took me out of here for a second. They wow. took you out of where? It took me out of Were you here? Was you here at the same store? Is this where you got arrested at? This recording studio? Oh, uh, yeah, in this very, no, nah, not this very same room, but yeah, next door. You was in this studio? Yeah. Recording? Oh, uh, yeah. Some people were like, Yo, how can you go back there? Right. Like, Shut the fuck up. Right. Like, right That's like too. going back home after they raised your house. I, I got to go back to my mama's oh. house. It's like. <laughs> Shit, stop with them even, when they they did raid, even when they did raid my shit back there, I went right back to the crib twice when they raided. Right, right. Three times, I'm lying. I got my shit kicked in three times. I've been in that interrogation room so much time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my niggas that I've been on our fault, nigga. I ain't no hoe, nigga. You can never get me exposed, nigga. Drop top on the block like, whoa, nigga. Laughing at these hoes, niggas. Watch my shmoney how it grow, nigga. <laughs> and I'm not gonna rap, but I'm gonna look like it. The same little man, man. What's next, though, dog? Like this owl <laughs> sacrifices on its way. Um, I want to put a date on it so bad, but it's like we keep like fixing, we keep pushing the dates around because, like, as you know, it, whatever it don't make sense if we don't make dollars. So, like, we just want to do what makes sense. We want we want to do whatever. You feel me? Like, you, um, we're gonna do what the people want. You still on Epic? Yeah, that's for sure. Shout out Epic Records. Yeah. Okay. So, so are you putting out a solo project? I'm putting out, yeah, I'm about to put out my solo album. <coughs> you got a name for it? Yeah, man, Sacrifices. It's for all the sacrifices me and the gang been through. You feel me? For the time Bobby sacrificed, for the time my grandmother had to walk. All the way to the motherfucking supermarket to go get us some porridge or some tea. <laughs> For me. You know, I love my porridge. Yeah, nigga, some porridge. All right. So, like, yeah, these are some sacrifices. What's that? Oh, that shit sound like you slap one in the head. Did it? Did it? Did it, did right. it, did it sound like me? I'm like, hold on. What's going on in here? <laughs> what the fuck going on in here? Oh, me, it did. But, yeah, oh, these are some sacrifices, bro. This is that shit. This is that sacrifices. You feel me when you feel me you you walk in a spot throwing up your set you feel me and you, and you know you you sacrificing your face you mm-hmm. sacrificing getting your wives what you feel me this is what this is this is all sacrifices this is for everybody family when mothers they wake up early in the morning they go work two jobs yeah. you feel me and sacrifice that rich nigga she could have found and left you you feel me. <laughs> This is them sacrifices. She's still fine. Yes, boy. If Mama Love was fine, she could have dipped on them little niggas. Got her a rich nigga, but she sacrificed it for y'all. So these are them sacrifices. <laughs> this is sacrifices when a big sister get a little sister the last cookie. How many brothers you got? Brothers, sisters you got? I got two little brothers. Um, I got a little brother right now, little Cavassi. Yeah, here in Barbados. I ain't never meet him, you heard? <clears throat> but, um, hey, yeah, nah, he like 10, 12. Well, T one of them shits. Mm-hmm. I ain't never meet him. Like, mm-hmm. literally, like, nah, cause like, my mom's had went back to Barbados in 2010. You feel me? And she was in Barbados since then. Like, I ain't seen my mom's till like so 2014. So you, you born here? I was born here. Oh, okay. My pops was born here, but he Jamaican. My my father's side, whole side is Jamaican. My mom's side, my father's side, whole side is Jamaican, except for his pop side. His pop side is from Cuba. Oh, okay. My father and mother's side is all Jamaican. My mom's is from Barbados, straight Barbados. Like right now, she's in Barbados. My sister, my little sister, my little brother, my big sister, they all in Barbados. 
So, mm. yeah. And then you got me and my little brother Fetty, with the same mother, same father, you feel me? For me. And me and him just got that different type of bond because we always been there for about a while. Like, us three never split up. So, did you speak Spanish? <coughs> was it Spanish spoken out? What was spoken out? Nah, my father, father was Cuban, but he had passed away before uh, I was even born. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there was never no Spanish in the household unless I had one of my mama mitas running around. Mama cita valida, valida, matara matar queso. So you got a great mm-hmm. understanding of, 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 of the language. I mean, I like, all right, so like, when I'm like this, it's like, I don't wear more so well. Oh, and I was like this. She said some shit. I'm like, sing, 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 sing. Right. You know I mean? right. Yeah. They might not have caught that. Though. You know what I'm saying? We might have to put a caption in on the on on the, on the um, screen and let 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 the people catch that. They ain't gonna catch on. Huh? <laughs> 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 Mama Mita, you may not catch it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, but we just learned something though. Cause I never knew that. Oh, for real. Well, I mean, you know, like we shoot, we trying to shoot all the questions to get everything out. You know what I mean? Nah, for and, sure. And, and, and looking at you, I wouldn't even never come. <coughs> back. I wouldn't never come. I mean, I can see some Jamaican, but not yeah. Barbados and yeah, how you know, yeah. that breakdown. That, yeah, my mom's beautiful. is Bayesian, Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. She's still over there though. She's she still. over there right now. They're gonna watch at me and feel. I call you. I call back. I don't know. see we on. I ain't no time, man. I ain't listen. Oh, yeah. Bro. I mean, my little sister, Alize, just had a baby. Okay. All right, you're going to see this. Watch this. You ain't notice how I just named some of my family name. You didn't notice how they named, what their name was named after. Uh, my little that? sister's name is Alize. My little brother name uh-huh. is Cavassier. My little brother, Fetty, name is Remy. Right. My name is Chad, but my real name was supposed to be Shivers. Like the bottle ship is real. Oh, okay. No, nah, I don't know it, but I'm... Uh, yeah. I mean, my mom's really doing her thing with that bottle. Like, you feel me? So, what you going to have your son? Well, not no liquor. Daddy. <laughs> Why? Well, not no weed either. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to name my son. You feel me? That's something important. And when you hear my son's name, you're going to want it. You feel me? You're going to love it. You gonna, it's going gonna, gonna to stand up. If I can't find something like that for me, my baby girl that I went gonna find out. Of that. Yeah, it's gonna be important too how you name your son. Yeah. It's gonna be important, man. If I have a daughter, I'm gonna name my daughter Cheyenne. My baby girl middle name. And if I have a boy, I'm gonna name him Santino after my best friend that's locked up. Who you Carter. working with on the project? On this project, who you got? Like producers? No, 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 not what like producers artists. and artists. Who you got on this like, project? Like I ain't trying to hide it up, so like. Oh, you don't want to put it out? Nah, I want. Like I don't want. Like, I want. You don't uh, ever do that though. Cause like I want it to be special to everybody. Like I want to. I want. To, don't that make more sense to let people know who all you got on your project so they can do nah. more promotion? Ain't it? It ain't like it's gonna get old. Nah, trust me, watch. When I put it out, they're going to be thanking me like, yeah, I'm glad with it. This young man is smart. For me, because when you heard all the hype about it, all the hype about it, it's like, all right, so what was all this shit? Like, all this hype around this shit. For me, you know, you feel me? Like, let me get there, you feel me? It's the, it, 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 you got to take baby steps before you walk there. Bobby going to be on the motherfucker? What the fuck, guys? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? <laughs> that's Dick, like you gonna be on that's it? like if you want to now you can talk your shit on it pop your shit you, know what you feel me it only makes sense so you we don't know who coming on the project he won't give us that y'all we don't know what's coming he don't know we ain't gonna tell us when it's coming we only know it's with epic he ain't really fucking with us like that Nah, I'm sorry he want to put one person <laughs> give us one name I just told you, Bobby. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I, I a boogie on that shit. A boogie with a hoodie. We just talked to nephew, so we gonna get a boogie. Yeah, a boogie on that. A boogie on there. Big you on there. Um, Bobby on there. Bobby on there. We got four. 
All right. Tell this nigga check his DM. He tried. Oh, wait a minute, cuz. I hit the cuz. Look here. Wait, watch I this, hit the man. snigger in his DM. I'm 54 years old. We got an Instagram. Don't have it then. Do you win. know the homie told me, I said, nigga, where is the DM? They showed me the DM. What day was that y'all showed me what the DM was? Two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Uh -huh. Two days ago. No, I look at no goddamn DMs. I didn't even know what them things was. Still got Instagram. Hell no, I DM. Man, I know about him, but I'm like. Hey, that's my pops. My pops is in the room right now. <laughs> he got all his. He don't know how to do none of that shit. Then my pops wake up and be just posting like. He was just post like, yeah, good morning, y'all. Yeah, just woke up from the roll of blunt. <laughs> yeah, I was out there. Finna eat I some cereal, put some milk, extra two spoons of sugar. Like, he really about to explain what he about to do. Like, What's your rollout plan? Because, I mean, I was at Epic one time. For like I was at Epic. That's what Epic went to. We, was, we signed with Nip with Epic. We came my hand signed. As far as the album, we about to go crazy. We about to put this worldwide. We about to put a bell for us. We about to go crazy. Everybody about to tune in, about to be a part of this rollout plan, about to be a part of this. We about to put out a big trailer too for y'all to see the background of Roddy Rebel. You feel me? The background who are who is Roddy Rebel, you feel me? Who is just not Roddy Rebel. And you feel me? Y'all about to understand my life. Y'all about right. to see like you gotta fuck with us at World Star though. Real talk. I be I be calling this funny face nigga, man. Uh, oh, is that right? Now you gotta call me. Don't D don't DM me, man. I don't want no goddamn DM. All right, but call me then. I have your we number. Call straight to the bosses though. I had your number. I, I had your number. You have my number now though, cause when you hit the land, I know y'all was with my son. Yeah. I fuck with the old nigga. Pull up on yeah. me. Yeah. I be chilling when I get to that. I, I be on some like. For me, I be on some music, getting my business right. But I go to like a highlight room, it's not chill. Yeah. I just came from jail. Like I, I respect every dollar now so much. It's crazy, nigga. Had to live with three hundred dollars a month. Yeah, cause like you can I mean, have all the money you you can have all the money you want, and the world you can have five million dollars in your account in jail. But every two weeks you get to spend a buck twenty five. Oh, that's all that y'all spend one twenty five. Nah, uh, that's all that you spend in the oh, city. Every two weeks though. So no, that's you. That's what you don't let you spend in the city. Now up north, you only get to spend seventy five dollars every two weeks. Well, yeah, but everything cheap though. Like, like a bag of rice would be ten cent. Oh, for a bag of rice? Yeah. Damn, one twenty five. They hit you for a noodle seventy five cent for a noodle. For a noodle would be like ten cent. Nah, for a noodle be nah. like for a noodle be like ah right, yeah for one noodle. One noodles, ten so cents. For one noodle, be like ten cents, some yeah, shit. If I'm tripping, my mother, niggas gonna wind me up in the comments. But you're not buying a whole, you're not buying a whole, um, you're not buying a whole. What you call them? You getting bust in your, your you getting bust rice man. Nah, what am I, my mom? Whole case. You can't uh, be uh, right. I know. A uh, one noodle is eighteen cents on my mama. Eighteen cents. One noodle, eighteen cents on my mama. Hang on, I'm gonna say yeah, you, you ain't paying for that. I was one, going mama. to, I think it was like one 25 One soup is, no, like one soup is 18 cents where we at. No, that might have been like 25 so, cents. Right. So, boom. All right, so now when I came home, I'm just like, I see I was spending mad fast. I didn't have to. I'm saying like, like I'm going home, calm, bread. Like, I'm like, damn, I can have more. Like, I can have more. Like, so it's like, why is like, I just been on some shit lately. Like, if I don't got to spend, if I can make somebody else spend and do this. You can do that. Why not? Niggas be quick to show off for these bitches. Mm -hmm. Put niggas in a room you full of 25 bitches and be like, yo, everybody put up 2,000 and better right now. Those niggas start coughing their pockets up to impress these bitches. Like, <laughs> and I ain't gonna put up a dollar. I'm like, I don't got it. Right. I don't need no money to talk to these so bitches. So you ain't going to the strip club and throwing 10,000 a night? Uh, if, I, if I feel like I wanna do that, but no, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm exactly. Fuck no, I'll go to the strip club and throw like three or four thousand dollars. Yeah. That's a good night you catch me on that. For me, that means I just made a pack. I mean I just did something for me and I wanna celebrate real quick and like watch a little bitch shake a little ass. Make a little kang and then like or sometimes I might just wanna eat for me. I went my niggas, it's birthday, I right, let's go to the strip club for me. Yeah, take a pack, throw it. For yeah. me. 
What's next for you though after this project though? Like what you doing as far as movies, film? And, uh, Shit, I'm trying to see what's up right now. All these powers and all these that shit look episodes good. going on. Like being my, I want, I want parts. Like for me, like I feel like yeah, hell yeah. I feel like I need to get on that. I need, I need niggas to really know I can. I'm really good at everything, bro. I feel like I'm great at everything. I don't care. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Uh, well, I don't give a fuck about that. So you looking either? Well, I mean, it's a movie. You a movie? Of course. You a movie? I'm rated R. Whole ass. All right. Docu series or a made for TV movies? I Just know. y'all. Why am I? Why am I talking niggas? I'm a t- I got a movie. My life a movie to the point where you, like, if I put it out there, like, I have niggas in tears in this bitch. Because, like, I done been through how to buy, I done had to sleep through bedded buildings, cars, shelters. Like, I done had all my shit taken. I'm talking about every piece of clothes, document, man. I'm talking about every, the only thing I got on me is what I got in this life right now. Type shit, like. Like, so it's like, nigga, I, I got one pistol and everybody was in trouble. That was it. I'm talking about fam, certain family members was in trouble. So his dad don't talk to me. Nigga, certain weed, nigga, they sell weed. I know for sure they don't talk to me. Corn store, nigga, don't talk to me. Even when I, I came home and got money and tried, like, went back and gave her 50000 and certain people that I know try to make it right with them. Like, nah, I'm good. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I like, seen that, bro. I seen it like, when it was when it was bad, real. it was bad, bad. You know what I mean? I seen it when it was bad. Mm. You know? I on corner store nigga caught the cops and told me I try to rob him. Right? He like I had a pistol on me, I draw for it. Well my mother in my life, bro. This shit already happened, so I done told the truth. I mean, I tell y'all all the time I was down, I ain't a fuck nigga try to oh make it look tough. No, I have no gun on me, but how I move and how like I bop, like when like when I'm talking, so I'm like, Yo, why are you playing me? Like, like, so, like, 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 like I'm talking, I'm just talking. So like, why I'm talking like this? He thinking I'm reaching for something. Right. But on camera, they you see me like ah ah, like this. So I'm like, they like yeah, that's it right there. You got the gun right there. I'm like, do you see any gun? Do you see me pull out a gun? Like, like I'm bluffing him because like, I see me moving like that. When I'm saying like I just talk like that. I can tell you that because you know, yeah, yeah. You feel you see how. I'm, so I'm like, yo, man, I ain't have no gun. I was just acting like that. I was just buffing him, took him out. But what happened was a nigga sold me something that didn't work. And I'm like, go get my bread back. He like, no, I snatched my bread back. Like, yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was scary when he sold you a two. He was trying to kill you. Yeah, he had some of your bro charger. Charger? Yeah, from the corner store, the charger was oh, broke. Nigga, I thought you were talking about a blow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I sold me a fake charger. I'm thinking of so, so what's the next move as far as real estate? You buying property yet? Um, I just like started this truck and shit. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I just started this truck and shit. So it's like, um, I'm gonna give y'all the name of all my shit to hit a few. I just got, I need a driver really. Well, so like, well, I really do got a driver. We just gotta interview a couple more of these niggas. No, How many trucks you start with? I got one right now. I don't really know the business like that. But I'm a godfather with this, so I want to see what's going on with this. But I'm down for shit. You know, I just came home, so I, like, as this paper coming in, I'm just stacking it right now. And before I just jump out the window, mm-hmm. for me, I don't want, I want a nigga to sit me down, hands on, like, yo, this time. You yeah. feel me? Like, me, I'm, in, I'm more in the real estate. Like, I'm buying property. I want to everything. I don't care what it is. If it's a dollar, I want parts. I just don't want to. <laughs> Rush into it with the wrong person, or right, just right. just do it because they can say, "Yo, that's what it is." Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. Nah, I don't need somebody but like, "Yo, listen, that's what we doing right here." I, I put my bar for me, and right now, like, I just got that one person. So like, I just the truck and shit. So then I'm gonna do another shit with him. And he was just talking about some shit just now with me too, about some new buildings coming up. So it's like, yeah, that's what you wanna get? You wanna get? That's that long term game. Yeah. Drive that Mama, I just been home for seven months. Like, I just came here. Right. Like, like, I just, just touched down. So I was like, well, like, I'm about to get all into that bitch. I just, I'm just having fun stacking right now. Like, you talk. You, got, you working your credit? 
my credit is 752 right now, player. I'll be happy when niggas ask you what about my credit. <laughs> <laughs> Those niggas say it's good at 752 on their head. I'll be happy when niggas ask me about my credit. Yeah. They be like, how the fuck that credit like that who just came home? But you got to be mindful. I was in jail for how long? Six years, right? Mm-hmm. But I got to my fourth year. I'm meeting certain different niggas. I'm ready to put me in a nigga. Like, you can build your credit from right here, nigga. Right. You can't. I started buying all the little cars, all the little everything. It's my name, everything. I had to stuff my name with like a bill. I was just done. Then you I was came out. Hold on. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. Let's not, let's not mill over what he's saying. Because right now, this nigga's talking genius talk. And he talking right at y'all. And y'all probably ain't catching it. This nigga just said, uh, he started building this shit in jail. Okay, let's go there. My nigga, like, everything he been saying in this whole conversation, in the first day he said he made the six years work for him. He didn't, the six years didn't work him. He made it work for him. Oh, Came wow. out, he's sitting there planning. He tell you right now he ain't just throwing up, wasting money on nothing in no, in no clubs. He waiting before he have his baby. He planning on buying, he buying, buying a starting a truck business. Guess what he said? Before I buy more than one, I need to learn it. Everything he's saying, I mean, I don't want people to go through yeah. and, and not respect your your, your intelligence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, how, and, yeah. And everything he's saying, he he, he 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 putting that conscience behind it. You know what I mean, nigga? You said in that motherfucker, your shit is seven fifty some. Seven fifty two. Seven fifty two. Seven fifty two. The fact that he didn't even know it though. <laughs> Hold on, that was some more shit because you got a lot of motherfuckers who can't tell you. Smarter. Don't give a damn. Niggas yeah. don't even know how to look at that shit. This yeah. morning after, it, it don't matter. This nigga the next Jay Z. Like yeah. I don't know how you figure it. I don't know how nobody else looking at it. But I guarantee you, I'm gonna go and snap him like that because this nigga's thinking about his money, uh. talking about how he want to do it. His whole conversation is, is on a whole nother level, and and I mean, it just it get lost by people. Yeah. It get lost. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Dudes don't understand where they at in their own thinking and, and what you gonna be able to do. And I be so like half this way now, they be like thinking I be well, I don't know. But yeah, when I be high, that's when I'm actually like quiet thinking like, oh I could do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was fine. Like, I don't even gotta spend no money on cars. Nah, nah. Like you can go get that shit on business line. Like, like, I, I just be sitting back, just watch how everybody else do shit. And it's just like, why, what's the smartest shit to do? Like, I, I see how you live in. I don't want to live like that. But I see how you live in. All right, what you doing? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or just yeah, ask yo. questions. Or sometimes just shut the fuck up and listen. Wow. Wow, when a nigga tell you, just listen. Wow. I mean, I hope they catch uh, the door. Right? Cause that's, that's from. I just came from jail. I got deserve and get through here. Shit. <laughs> that's how I came out of life. I get out here, like, all right, I'm about to just observe, see back what's going on. I'm just, all right, that's what I'm doing. Like, just now, even with the big bro with Meek, like, dang. Like, I was about to tell my cameraman pull just now, but I had this shit on already, so I ain't really care. I ain't really care if it's not too bad. like, I ain't gonna tell the big bro, no, y'all in the city. This intelligence. That's just gangster right? shit, you feel me? Like legendary shit. Like this 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 and, and this is what makes me so proud because when I talk about I talk about our family all over the world. With me, like I tell them all the time, I love to see it. I love to go to Atlanta, New York, wherever I, Chicago around the world and see people that believe like me and and in home. If 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 you if you if you go around the world and you don't like seeing your cousins when you get there, there's something wrong. I love having cousins everywhere I go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know how nobody else feel, but I love having cousins in every single state. Yeah, I swear. In every single country. And then a lot sponsor Allah said, no, I'm going to sit you down for 31 days and tell you why you really here. Got out, my niggas are here. Oh, my God, oh, man. 
Wifey like, no. You and them babies. I'm like, shh. Need too much in the house. Like, damn, I'm used to having, you know, this. Woo, woo. Blood with me. Woo. And it's, oh, no. Nigga just did 13. I'm like, oh, man. And then they're like, shh. I spent the hell. I said, okay, I'm gonna give you this. I set you down 31 days. I go before the Morrison hearing. The judge say, woo, 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 woo. You shouldn't even never went the first time, so I'm gonna give you a break. That's exactly what the judge said. The judge said, your original case was trash. I, I didn't have nothing to do. I read the whole case. Yeah. She said, you shouldn't have never went for that in my Morrison hearing. That's the board in before they decide they're going to send you back mm -hmm. on a violation or not. She said, cut me loose. She said, she told mine and my wife, you'll be going on with y'all tonight. I'm going to give you another chance. After 31 days, they couldn't have gave me nothing but, uh, they couldn't have gave me but 11 more months. That was a max they could have gave me because I was on parole. They could have kept me like, after that, but the most you can get on a violation is 11 more months. And she was like, nah, boom, go home. That was in 2004, I came home, I was on four months and got blurred right back. But see, you had a chance to sit in that motherfucker, bro, and your mind already right. Like, you just going through the weed smoking phase in a minute, next thing you know, you might have five legal dispensaries because that's, your opportunities gonna come to you. You feel me? Because if all that shit was in your case, any of that was in your case, you have social equity action right now. If any of that was mentioned in your case, or if any of that had any kind of controlling factors in your conviction, that makes you eligible for the social equity program. You know what I'm saying? And you see how your people start looking into that. Because now you can legally apply for a license, my nigga. Even if they already gave them out. You know what I'm saying? Because you like, man, you can just fight. That's something to invest in fighting because now go get the legal license. Because you had that in your case. And now you really going to, you know, feed the town. That's a big spot. I could get my legal license. But I, I can't, my cousin, though, after I the law out. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, it had nothing to do with it. You can apply. Because I you can't stay away from liquor. Huh? I stay away from liquor. Liquor? No, to my marijuana. I want the legal marijuana license. Yeah, but marijuana is, I say, like, I want to get disrespectful in New York, right? I can do it myself? Yes. Because under the social equity, what the social equity program is, is for, is for people who were that adver adversely affected by the marijuana laws. So anybody who was convicted of marijuana crime, arrested and arrested and, is arrested or lost anything, had to pay bill on that for marijuana crimes, they can apply for a license under the social pro, social equity program. You guys have it here too. It's probably already been given out, but how it works in LA, it only they change it. So you have to be convicted of a of a um, of a marijuana crime. So if you've been convicted of a marijuana crime, you can apply for a license. I think I've been on parole or not. That's even better because it's still affecting you. Hey, my truck is moving like I'm on the shit to be shooting. Yeah, I'm looking at all that yeah. shit right now. I probably but I don't go for that because I I didn't have that. I had I didn't have my one. I had the other, I had this color shit. Because of that, I ain't fit. But if they mention it in your shit, though, mm -hmm. and, if they, and I'm pretty sure they did, because you went in what year? 2014. 2014. I'm pretty sure they mentioned some of that in there. And they mentioned it, it's time to go look for that, though. That's a bag you ain't get. And that's a bag that anybody out there in this checking in world need to understand. Start looking at these programs that's going down right now and, and figure out where you fit in that. But um, right now, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, nephew, to have you here. Baby, and look, cuz gonna take me to the hood. Cuz take me to the hood.
Yeah, I want to go to the mall. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got to pull out. Let's go like two. Three. I'll be waking up like 12 or something. Okay. Like 12 or three. We're going to figure it out. Somewhere, somewhere in between like um, 12 and 4. So like 12 and 4, yeah. Okay. All the kids get out. Fuck all the kids. Yeah. Other kids love me. <laughs> 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 Fuck all the kids. Yeah. Fuck all the kids. Yeah. Fuck all the kids. Other kids love me. Yeah, I want to go to the hood. Let's catch them like after like four when the ice cream truck's already passed. You said after what? What? They be running me down for the ice cream truck. (laughs) Why? Yeah, we could definitely do that behind. Yeah, so, um, what we doing? The rapid six? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, this so you don't want to do I hate the audio, man. Yeah, this, is, this shit is picking up crazy. Oh. They're going crazy out there. Dude. We want to do rapid six in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Want to need one camera? Yeah, yeah. 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 And we want to see. I'm going to see them everywhere. Yeah, that shit was like. You niggas drilling like a motherfucker. We're, we're in LA. We, we're just a 4214. That was around Bobby's birthday. We had some bitches in the crib, proud my language. We had some females in the crib. And we ran around, niggas all drunk, we high. At this time, we used to take ecstasy pills. So we actually gave them one song. So, so I won't go like, yeah, I'll take one song, one song. Like, right, let me give you one you put in your butt. So she's like, all right, so don't put it out by niggas party. We in the pool, we party. I like to take a roll with this fucking bitches and shit. Next day you wake up. I like the I wake up bad early, I don't know why I wake up, boom. I wake up, I saw slice up, but he up on the phone like that. So boom. We go upstairs to the other room because I'm like, I need a charge of two. Let's go upstairs and smoke. So the fifth floor is like the last level to the room, to the to the crib. But it's like a spiral step. You go up to like an attic. There's like a bed up there too. Bathroom and all. So it's like the charger right by the spiral step. I get to the step. I would kid you back. I had, ah, I'm like, oh, I'm getting that shit drilled up here. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, slay, yo, pull up, pull up. So I'm like, oh, look. You hear that shit, girl? I'm like, oh, let's go up there. I'm like, well, I'm like, fuck it. Well, we goes upstairs. Well, we goes upstairs. He walks to the bathroom. He opens the door. Why the bitch in there brushing her hair and playing with her pussy? I'm like, every stroke she went down, she moaned. Like, uh-huh. Ah! Ah! That was like a rhythm. I swear to God, we all so hard and keep the last night. We just standing there. I'm like, that. Why my mama? My son slice so zoned out. He's just like this. So like, right, he's just zoned out. I'm like, I'm like, I'm fire, man. All right. When she fucks again, man, look, we signing out. It was a pleasure. Um, next, we're gonna take me to the hood tomorrow. We're gonna go check in over there. She probably get a camera to go get a look at the hood. And uh, you know what I mean? Just kind of pick up a little bit more if we can. And add it in there though. But like always, man, love. Wow. Can't wow. wait to get you on my side. Well, I still got a great dose. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. See what y'all don't understand is, is you got to check in, man. Check in. Everywhere I go, I check in, man. No, I don't get checked, I check in. It's a big difference, man. You gotta really understand.